Mr. Ross, and it is your claim that the defendant is responsible for an accident that you had while you were riding your moped. That is correct. Just tell me the date of the accident, please. June 20th, 2017. And your moped had a license. It was... Yep, it was licensed and registered and everything. And what kind of car were you driving, Miss Austin? A CTS Cadillac. What year? 03. At the time of the accident on June 20th, did the car have insurance? No, ma'am. That's why we're here. Yes. Because if we had insurance, your insurance would have covered the damage. Yes. So this is going to be fast. <laughs> you're going down the street, you're pulling out of a parking space. Yes. And you're pulling out of a parking space, and according to that chart over there, either he swerved to avoid you or your car came into contact with his. Did her car come into contact with yours? I believe it did. But you're not sure. Yeah. But what happened is you are driving your moped down the traffic lane. Mm -hmm. She is coming out of a parking space. Correct. So you clearly have the right of way. Correct. So whatever happened, whether he swerved to avoid you coming out of the parking space or you hit him, your car is responsible. Can I see the damage, please? Would you like the receipt for the damages? I would like the receipt for the damages and the medical bills, please. Sure. You weren't hospitalized? No. You had scrapes and abrasions? Yes. Okay. Did you see her pulling out of the spot, Mr. Um, Anderson? At the very last minute, which is why I tried to swerve to avoid hitting her. She was she, attempting to make a U-turn. Well, that's what I'm looking at. I mean, if she's pulling out, it looks to me, at least based on here, that she wanted to go in the other direction. That is correct. She wanted to go in the other direction. She was trying to make a U-turn. From the parking space? That's not correct. Where I was pulling out, yes, I was. But I was not trying to make a U-turn. Where were you going? I was attempting to, to go home. To go home? Yes, ma'am. What time of the day? 10.30 p.m. Where had you come from? My son's home. So you were visiting with your son? Yes. And you were going to your house? Yes. What's the address of <laughs> your house? 10th Street, Northwest. Do you know where that is? Approximately, yes. In order to get there, does she go straight or does she have to go in the other direction? Uh, the easiest freeway access probably would have been in the other direction, yeah. So she was attempting to make a U-turn? No. You still driving your car without insurance? No, ma'am. And I do have insurance. But you didn't on the date of the accident? Correct. Oh. Well, you had some serious nicks and bruises and cuts. Yes. Sure did. Can I say something? Sure. Actually, when I was pulling out to attempt to go home, um, to get on the freeway is on 46. So that would make me have to go straight, not to make a U-turn. And I did not hit this man. He laid his bike down himself. And afterwards, he got up. He was fine. Are you crazy? Is there something <laughs> yes. wrong with you? Yes. Is there something wrong with you? No, ma'am. You're ma not supposed to be driving a, an automobile, a big old Cadillac, without insurance or right. a little car without insurance. You're, you're supposed right. to have insurance because yes. your insurance would have paid for his injuries, would have paid for his medical bills, would have paid for his moped. The only right. reason you're here is because you had no insurance and you were careless and he was injured. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $5,000. We're finished.